more money, more love, more creativity, more adventure. Chances are, if you want any of those things and more, you want more joy. Joy in some form. Joy is such a core emotion and having more joy right now can bring all those things you want to you far more quickly. And you get to enjoy every day. So let's get started. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Dana Claudette. I'm a modern feng shui master and the founder of the School of Intention, which is an entire method and school of feng shui based on infinite possibility, creative awakening, and your intention. And I say this at the start of every video because the way that we work with feng shui here is really unique and it's very customized and it's very much about you and your joy, your creativity, your infinite possibilities, your living your best life in all ways. And today, when we talk about bringing more joy to your home, this is the driver of so many things. I'm gonna give you a few examples in each one of the eight tips that we go through, but you can customize this and make it your own. That's what this work is intended for. Right now we're headed into the season of love feng shui and love is one of the ultimate manifesting magnets in all of life. Love in all its forms. Below you can find the free love feng shui video series, which will help you to really flood your home with more joy, so much more magnetism and attract more love. So that's coming soon. You can get those below. And for those of you who want to become feng shui professionals this year, right now, the School of Intention is open for early registration. Below you can find all the details to learn more and join us in this one of its kind in the world training, which is so exciting. And I love that this is the season of love and expansion and joy. Joy is so incredible because it is not something we experience every moment of the day. And I'm not here to suggest that your life should be level 10 exuberance every moment of the day or else you won't manifest things or things won't work out for you. That's not the case. But what I am here to suggest is that you can bring more joy to life even if you are not at a level 10 of exuberance and it can help you to stay higher and lighter. And as you stay higher and lighter, life becomes easier. Challenges become easier. Breaking through to the next level becomes easier. And so all of this work is meant to support you. It's not meant to set an unrealistic standard of good vibes only, high vibes only. And that can be really demoralizing because I don't feel good vibes all the time but more of the time. One of the first ways to generate more joy, and I could see a bunch of people about to roll their eyes when I say this, is to clean. Deep cleaning is a phenomenal way to open up to more really high frequencies and much more joy. Now the energy with which you clean, even if you don't deep clean, even if you're just kind of dusting things off and polishing things a little bit and just kind of doing a little surface tidying up, that's fine. But the energy with which you do it can change one, how you feel about it, and two, the results that you get. That energy, is going to seep into every aspect of the home. So I'm not asking you to scrub every inch of your house and force yourself to do it, but to joyfully make the very most of cleaning and realize that it is a form of self-care. Cleaning your home can be clearing your mind, it can be clearing your spirit, it can be opening up to new energy, it can be welcoming in abundance, and it also is highly practical because you get a clean home. Now, if you wanna take it to the next level, play music that really fills your spirit. So what music moves you? And this is really important. It's not just about playing meditative music or playing calm music. What music moves you? I've been listening to a lot of like more up-tempo dance type music. But one thing I've noticed is that lately, and this is just for me, lately I've been reaching for things with less lyrics. And I will tell you why, and it doesn't mean that you have to do this, but this is what I've been doing. And the reason is I found myself singing in my head over and over again, song lyrics that were 
terrible. The songs are great, but what I was saying over and over again, things like, how can I live without you? Like all of these sayings over and over and over again, singing these songs, I was basically programming myself with all of this stuff without realizing it because I can really get into one of those song loops. I keep it more instrumental. You don't have to just be aware of what it is that you are repeating all the time because it will just like a mantra get into the fabric of your home and into your mind and your energy field. And so you want to just have that awareness that level of awareness can be pretty astonishing. I was shocked recently. So that level of awareness can really bump things up to the next level. Now, add citrus at home. As long as you're not allergic to citrus, if you are, use any fruit that you want. But if you aren't allergic to citrus and it's easily available to you, whether it's lemons, oranges, pomelos, grapefruits, uh, limes, anything that is citrus has really high frequency joy energy. And especially oranges are phenomenal for more joy. In fact, sweet orange oil is often thought to bring sort of a spontaneous dose of joy. Sometimes I'll put just a drop of citrus oil in a cleaning spray or in a mopping water and I will just feel that super high vibration dose of joy. But you can literally just put out bowls of oranges, bowls of lemons, bowls of limes, but make sure you can actually use and eat whatever you put out. This is not about wasting food. It's about using it, replenishing it, but keeping that high vibrational energy around you. Huga is a wonderful way to add more joy to your space. Little bits of Huga, H-Y-G-G-E. I used to think it was called Higgy, but it's actually Huga, and it is the Danish art of happiness. It's actually like a whole life philosophy, a way of approaching life joyfully, actually seeking the happiness, seeking the comfort, seeking the coziness, seeking the joy. So some simple things that you can do to sort of rev up this energy in your life. Think about at night dimming the light so it's not super bright. Um, maybe lighting some candles so that you can really relax and be comfortable. Maybe shutting off the blasting loud TV and reading a really great book. Maybe if you have a fireplace, you turn on the fireplace and sit around the fire with your family. Even having more delicious food, softer blankets, softer pillows, all can be this incredible dose of joy for your space and your life. Another way you can harness more joy that's very personal for you is to bring either metaphysical, spiritual, or religious items into your space. So if you have a certain spiritual practice or religion, you may have symbols, you may have uh, beads or altars or other symbols and things that are a part of your culture, books, literature, sacred books, sacred things, put them out on display. You might bring out your crystals, tarot cards, oracle cards, anything that's gonna really remind you to use them. Oftentimes we collect so many of these things and they don't get used. And all of these things are meant to be used, even crystals on their own in your home, as beautiful as they are. And yes, they are high vibes. Unless you're using them, they're not really doing all the service they could do for you. So use your stuff, bring all those beautiful things out and put them on display. It's gonna bring so much more joy to your space. The next one and one that I can speak to from experience in terms of the joy that it brings is to put your art on your walls. Your kids art, your art, your family art, your friends art. My whole home is now covered in art that I've made, that my family members have made photos, all sorts of things. Put your art on your walls, even print out some photos from a vacation, frame them, put them up. This is your self-expression really shining on your walls. Make crafts, put them up. And if you don't have anything that you can think of that can serve as art that you've made, dive in and start something, doodle, make a project. It's amazing to have your own self-expression really front and center in your space. 
On that note, make room to be crafty. If you don't have any space in your home where you can do the things you love to do, if you love to make crafts, if you love to paint, if you love to uh, dance or do anything else, make a little space to do it. Even if it's space that you use for other things, it doesn't have to be that you dedicate one whole room to your art practice or your crafts or anything else. It can be your dining room table, but you just set things up so that you can easily grab them, do them, put them away. But again, you're bringing that flow of joy into everything that you're doing. Finally, last but not least, add lots of rainbows. Rainbows are full of energy. Rainbows represent a full spectrum of color, which is a full spectrum of energy, which balances us, which balances your mood, which balances your space, which balances your energy in so many ways. So if you can, Find multicolored things, multicolored pillows, multicolored blankets, multicolored things to wear. All of this energy will help to rev up the joy in your space and in your life. And that's all we've been talking about today. And this is just the tip of the iceberg. There are infinite ways to do this. Customize, make them your own, see what grabs you, but do not underestimate the power of more joy, especially when you want to really uplift, move through challenges, move through things, uh, break through barriers that have been over your head. Sometimes it's not about doing more. It's just about kind of ratcheting up the energy behind what you do. Your intention moves mountains. That's why this whole method is called the school of intention. And if you want to become a feng shui pro, the school of intention is open now for registration. You can find the details below. And again, the love feng shui video series is coming soon and it's going to be epic. It is also linked below for you. Thank you so much for being here. If you like this video, please don't forget to like, subscribe, share it with your friends. And this entire channel is full of videos for you to explore. So have so much fun and I will see you soon. Bye.